Hi, this is Neil from UseMyFrame.com and in this video I want to show you how to use our new remote ordering system. And this will be especially useful to our current accounts, uh, whether you just got the notification from us that we started this and you're wondering how it works. I'm going to kind of walk you through that. And uh, also a big thank you to all of our wholesale accounts. I really, really appreciate your business and supporting your independent lab and if you're new uh, or prospecting a new potential lab i certainly welcome you to take a look and follow along and hopefully you'll see these features as valuable and give us a try i promise you won't be disappointed so the first thing we'll do is we'll open up any web browser and we'll go to usemyframe.com we put this right we integrated it right into our website so it'll be easy to find uh, and from here you'll see on the red navigation bar the very last link is my account go ahead and click on that and log in here you'll be taken to the welcome or to the login screen and we will give you a username and password that will be unique to your account so enter that in right here and click remember me and log in. Once you're in here, it's a good idea to go ahead and bookmark this page. That way next time you can go straight to it. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that one of the beauties of this system is that this is not a program that you have to download. And so then it's um, only accessible to that one computer or device this because this is internet based you can use any web browser on any computer uh, and by computer I don't mean just like a tower uh, this could be a, a laptop a tablet even a, a smartphone from any of these devices you'll be able to not only um, send us in remote jobs but you'll also be able to track your jobs in real time to see what their current statuses are okay so right away uh, our first section is the tracing data and if you have a tracer installed at your retail location and you're able to send us remote tracings uh, if it there's a couple different ways of going about it here I'll show um, if you export it into an OMA file if so just click on browse Go to where you have your tracing uh, exports saved and click open. And then upload trace file. Now you'll see a new icon along with the file name. And if you hover over it, you'll see a big picture of that frame. If you only want to send this to us uh, and um, fax us jobs, uh, or if we already have them, so on. Uh, you can just send this trace. Just the only thing you'll need to include is a last name and first name, and you can click on send. Uh, one other thing I want to note is or point out is it automatically fills in the frame information for size. So the I, the bridge, the A, everything is filled out here. We don't have to do any of this other than select whatever kind of frame mounting. If it's a a metal or plastic frame it will not know that you'll have to tell the system what it is for this scenario I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, because I know most places do not have a remote tracer so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue like this and I'm gonna put in some dummy data just to show you uh, how this looks from here pick your uh, your frame data and uh, most most cases it'll be edged frame to come so click on that and then just click and you'll notice on these fields some of them have are white and some of them are like a light green teal color this means that they are required so this helps it make it easier to not forget things and to send us orders that aren't uh, fully completed and then which slows down the process because we'll get it uh, and then we would have to call on it this way everything is made sure everything's filled in right from the very start 
so I'll go ahead and just fill in some frame data notice the temple is not required so we don't need to enter that the effective diameter if you're not sure what the effective diameter is of the frame you have just add three to the eye size and that's generally a good rule okay and then don't forget to select your frame mounting now we go to rx data on here we want to select whether they're single vision progressives or bifocal trifocals one thing to note very important is that for now uh, if it's a progressive select conventional even though all we carry are digital progressives uh, the label for that right now is conventional PAL but if you come down here and you go to the style you'll see right away that the digital IOT which are the progressive lens designs that we use by default we have a very very excellent uh, success with these progressive designs and we highly recommend them if you haven't ever tried them we you know I just can't say enough just how great these have been working for us you know especially if you're used to the more bigger names higher price progressive designs give these a great give these a try they're a, a great value uh, so I'm going to go back up here and finish the lens data or the RX data. Uh, notice cylinder is in white um, because not every prescription has cylinder. Once you do enter a cylinder, the axis will appear and you can add that. Uh, when I added the right add power, it automatically copied it to the left so that kind of saves on typing which is great uh, when it comes to the binocular pd if you have that measurement as a binocular reading you can just enter that and it will automatically uh, split them in half and fill them out or if you'd rather you can enter the right and left individually seg height the same thing it copies it automatically and then just enter any special base curve you may want for example if it's a wrap frame uh you know maybe a seven base lenses or eight base would work better on there uh, if you're not sure you could always just put wrap frame in the comments uh, and we'll we'll take care of that for you don't worry about it um, then some other options for lens thickness references prism and uh, slab off from here we'll enter our lens data like I said we have digital IOT that's the only progressive we have if you are a um, a potential customer we can get virtually any progressive design uh, like I said these are only our default but if there's others that you carry or stock that uh, you know that you sell in your retail store by all means let us know we'll be glad to get those choose your materials there are hundreds upon hundreds of different uh, style material and color options available we've done our best to strip those down to the very most common and we've done that to help reduce unwanted errors and also to just make things a lot more streamlined uh, for you know the the options we have we're we're hoping to cover the 99 percent that are used every day if you see one that's not there let us know uh and we will be easily able to add that no problem uh so material i'll choose poly and then you can choose for your color uh if you want it clear choose the factory hard coat otherwise you have the photochromic versus transitions options polarized and so on the AR coatings, you could put that, premium or the super. Uh, the tinting, you could also choose that, the gradient, solid, uh, and then just put the color and percentage in the instructions. That is literally it. Oh, I forgot to pick the, you see how I put the little red, uh, the exclamation part mark over here to let me know, hey, you forgot something? Very good. So I'll go ahead and do that. I hit submit. In less than one minute, this job is in our system being processed. Uh, it's the nearest thing to instantaneous 
out there. And I just think it is uh, a huge advantage. You know, you, you never know when jobs have to be entered manually. There's always that chance of uh, adding additional errors into the order, uh, you know, mistakes. Uh, plus, you know, if people have something to do, the job sits on the desk, whatever. This, there is no waiting. It goes straight from when you enter it straight into our system and it's assigned a tray number and it's begun process. It's awesome. And I'm so grateful to be able to offer this service to our customers. After we hit submit, you'll notice it brings us the summary page. It's assigned an order ID number and it just gives us a brief description or summary of what we've just ordered. From here, we can print it and go right on to a new order. On the order history, once over time you have orders, uh, you know, a lot of different people, different uh, jobs and that, this will make it very easy if you need to look up one specifically quickly. Put in their last name, or if you know the order date or the order number, any of those things as a reference, and it'll take you straight to it. The third tab for job status, this is the one I mentioned earlier, where you will be able to check the jobs that we have currently, um, their status in real time. Uh, by default, it sorts this out by RX number, but if you click the order date, and you could click any of these headings and it will sort by that. I'll click it a second time to put the newest jobs on top. And here we go. We'll see it. It's assigned an RX number of this. Uh, and it's we have our patient name. We have the order date and the time. Yep, I'm up working pretty late. <laughs> and as well as the current status. And if this was at the edger, this would say edger. Uh, we have a Brio Evolution Edger. I don't think it specifies to that detail, but it will say the Edger or a Blocker or a Tracer, whatever. Um, it will say whatever the status is right here, so you'll be able to kind of get a gauge as to how far along in the process we are. Uh, with that said, we process, um, you know, say the most complicated uh, average job is your digital progressive with the premium anti-reflective coating. We're getting those done in about two days. So um, by submitting these jobs electronically and, and then if you're sending us frames, uh, we're literally going to have the lenses done before we even get the frames from you. So, and I just think that's, that's going to be a huge benefit to your practice. And hopefully, uh, as time goes on, you will see, um, that we're not, you know, to not just look at us as a lab separate from your business, but an integrated part of your own business, an extension of your own practice. And that's what these, you know, this whole feature, this whole system is designed to help you uh, do better to your customers. You know, that's that's where the that's where the winning ball is at right now. That's what we're all striving to do, and this is going to help give your customer service uh, that that extra special detail to set you apart from the others. And uh, I'm so happy to be able to offer this. So, and then, you know, it's going to keep a history of all your orders. Again, this is a test account. So, um, you know, don't think we have some really famous uh, customers here. These are all just test. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning, but once you do log in, you will see this welcome message and then you'll see your own account name right up here. Okay. And then lastly, the lens lookup. Uh, the fourth tab. This is a great page if you just kind of want to get off of the order entry with all of the information that you'd have to order and you just want to focus on what lens options are available. Um, you know, say you want to look at a bifocal, um, uh, 7x35, uh, well, there you go. It shows you right there. It's only available in plastic and in clear. Um, you could always call us. We can always double check that. Like I said, we kind of 
narrowed down everything to the most common. Uh, probably the 7x28, I'm guessing, would have some different options. If you do make different choices here, just clear it, and you'll be able to reset it. Um, but you could also say you want to look at a, a D28 bifocal. Uh, that's a transition. And what's the highest high index that it's available in? You could click on that and, and find out. So anyway, uh, that's a brief... Uh, kind of demonstration of how this program works um, again if you are one of our current wholesale customers I thank you again for supporting our business hopefully uh, you see the value and what we provide and and you're happy with that uh, and if you are prospecting or looking for another lab for your own practice or retail store um, I hope that you see just how easy we try to make this for you and uh, I look forward and welcome your business as well. Thanks for watching.